The trailer for The Boys Season 4 Episode 5 is here, and can you believe we're already past the halfway point of Season 4 of The Boys? After only two weeks, that's the thing when three episodes get released at once it shortens the amount of weeks of a season dramatically. But anyway, following what was an incredible Episode 4, which Anani Star absolutely stole with his delivery of Homelander, the trailer for Episode 5 has just been released. The positive is that we got a trailer, and it looks like the episode is going to be absolutely wild. The negative is that it was only about 20-odd seconds, so the show is keeping its cards close. So with that, I thought I'd break down the preview and give my theories and predictions on what I think will happen next. So let's get into it. Here is the Boys Season 4 Episode 5 trailer explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The trailer for Episode 5 opened up with an announcement where it said, Welcome to the V-52 Expo. On stage, there was a presenter, and there was also the deep speaking in front of a crowd of what looked like young people. The V-52 Expo looks like it's some kind of parody to the Disney Expo that occurs when they announce the different movies that are coming up and the different phases of films that will be part of that era. The similarity is also supported by the fact that the deep set a line through phases 7 to 19, showing that they're probably discussing the VCU and the different movies that make up the VA cinematic universe. But also, whilst taking a dig at Disney and the sheer amount of phases and movies that they're just churning out, at the back of the stage, there was a really interesting shot. There was a shot of Homelander standing on his own, looking at the crowd that were cheering not necessarily at him, and he looked deep in thought. Honestly, after episode 4, it's getting so hard to tell what's going on in Homelander's mind because he's genuinely spiraling out of control and going deeper and deeper into a level of darkness that we've not seen from him before a statement that I never thought I'd say because he's always had a real dark edge to him. After that shot, the tone of the entire trailer changed. The cheerful music from the expo was cut, and we were then inside V-Tower with not only the members of the Seven, but also the Guardians of Gulen, Sam, and Cade, and also Tech Knight too. Weirdly enough, Homelander said the line, This country is corrupt beyond repair. We have to save it. We have to do some terrible things for the greater good. That's war. With regards to Sam and Kate being there, we know that in the finale of Gen V, they were on the side of soup superiority and believed that they were superior to those around them, especially humans. They released the soups that were contained in the basement of the university and were using them to slaughter anybody that they wanted to. So it makes sense as to why they're in the room with Homelander. They buy into his belief system of soup supremacy. Let's also remember, as well, Homelander was there when Gulen University had that slaughtering. So he's fully aware of both of them. Plus, Vought took them under their wing. Maybe Sister Sage could have suggested getting them involved in the Seven in some capacity. They're significantly younger than what everybody else in the Seven is, and they'd most likely reach a completely different demographic that none of them can really hold on to or require. So I feel it could well be Sister Sage who suggests getting them involved as, after all, she is the puppet master of Homelander behind the scenes. At the moment with Homelander saying, we have to save it, I wonder if this meeting that took place inside of V-Tower occurred before the V-52 Expo and he's wanting to make an announcement on the stage. As after all, those movies are global so he may get more of an audience than if he was speaking at one of his rallies. There was also a shot of A-Train looking over at Sister Sage whilst the expo was on, so I feel it could all go down at this expo, and the plan could begin there. The thing that I thought was just pure gold during Homelander's speech, though, was the fact that Firecracker was standing there, nodding and agreeing with everything that he was saying because obviously she agrees with it. It ties into her core beliefs and the views that she puts onto others. During the speech, there was a moment where it looked like Firecracker was actually beating somebody. When theorizing about who it could be, there are genuinely limitless possibilities. But when looking at the people that were in the room, I'm leaning towards Tech Knight too, to be honest, because I have no idea why he could possibly be in that room or what he'd bring. Or you could argue a train because after all, he did break into Homelander's apartment and stole some V. Or as well, we know that he's been working with the boys and doesn't agree with what Homelander's spewing out, so he might have spoken up about it and faced some repercussions. But I don't think it's going to be Sam or Kate. Whilst Homelander was giving his speech to the Seven, it was accompanied with some shots that were focused on the other arm of the story that's going to be taking place with Butcher and the rest of the boys. There was one really important line, and you could argue it was probably the most important line in the entirety of the trailer. Butcher said, I found the answer. A virus that kills soups. I imagine in the context of the discussion that's taking place, he's either going to be referring to utilizing that virus on Homelander or Victoria Newman, the two people that he desperately wants to take out. Homelander more than Newman, though, 
During the post credit scene of Gen V, we saw that he entered the basement below the university where all of the soups that were locked up and were being tested on were kept. Hence why he knows about the virus and the deadly nature that it has for the soups. So I imagine he's going to go looking for it with the intention of weaponizing it and using it against both of them. What's really interesting about that now, though, is the fact that it seems like Butcher is actually a soup. We saw that he took some compound V in order to try and avoid the death that was fast approaching in him due to him abusing Tempe in Season 3. And when he blacked out in Episode 4, we saw that there was clearly a power that he had and an extremely powerful one at that. So it's almost like Butcher may have to risk his own life in order to take out Homelander and protect Brian, fulfilling Rebecca's dying wishes. Maybe both Homelander and Butcher will end up dying in the end. It would mark a rather poetic end to the story. I don't think they're going to go looking for the virus in the next episode, but I feel Butcher saying that is just the show planting the seed in our mind over the fact that it is out there, and it's going to have some involvement in what's going to happen in the future of the show. It seems like Butcher, Mother's Milk, Frenchie, and Starlight are all going to be going into the woods and onto a farm where they're going to stumble across some sheep that have clearly ended up taking some compound V. When Butcher went into a facility, there was a load of compound V that was smashed on the floor. So I think that either means that the person that gave them the V didn't expect the sheep to transform into these demonic-looking flying creatures with sharp teeth like we saw later on in the trailer, or they broke into the room and accidentally ended up having some. It actually looked like there was blood that was splashed up onto the curtain that Butcher walked through. So I think wherever they ended up, it's going to be abandoned, as all of the humans that would have been there would have most likely been killed by the sheep. I think that's what Butcher is also looking at here when he seems shocked. The remains of somebody that was killed by the sheep. Those animals looked dangerous, and when Butcher and the rest of the boys were running away at the end, one of the sheep managed to get a hold of somebody. We didn't see Huey in the trailer at all, but I don't think that would be him. Outside of the trailer, there are still quite a few things that I think we'll see getting developed in Episode 5. The whole arc of Huey, Daphne, and his father is developing, and it's taking up a lot of his story. We know that his father was given Compound V by his mother when he made the decision not to in Episode 4, so I imagine we're going to be seeing just how his father responded to that, as he did end up opening his eyes at the end of the episode. So it will be interesting to see what type of powers he has. It also seemed like Starlight had her reputation ruined following the outburst that occurred on stage when she attacked Firecracker. The word, Satan, was graffitied onto the wall inside of her organization, and the lights were off. This was probably done by the Homelanders, but I do also feel like she could have lost some support from the people that were once so close with her. They're all about peace and doing things. Amicably, and Starlight showed a completely different side to her in front of all of them. I know Season 4 has had a bit of negative criticism about it since it a couple of weeks back, but I'm genuinely really enjoying this season, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen when it returns on Thursday. So there you have it, The Boys Season 4 Episode 5 Trailer Explained. If you want to see more videos on The Boys or Gen Y, then click on the card in the top corner. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. What do you think will happen next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for tuning into the video, and I'll see you in the next one.